Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to show you guys how you can start accessing the data and analytics page on Qualtrics. Now this is really great for when you already have responses that have been sent in and you want to be able to filter, classify, merge, clean, or maybe even statistically analyze your response data. So first things first, let's show you guys how to get there from the home page. As you can see, we're just currently on the basic projects and programs page on our Qualtrics account. Next thing you're going to want to do is identify which form you want to use so that you can see its data and analytics. In this case, we're going to use our active survey, which is the customer feedback for cafe, where we already have three responses to analyze. So now that we've identified it, we can just head over to the rightmost side where there are three dots. Then from here, we're going to head over to this little button at the bottom of the drop down menu called data and analytics. Just click that. Okay, so now you can see that we're just currently on a data and analytics page. Let's just make this screen a bit smaller so you can see the full thing. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. And as you can see, all of the submitted responses are currently organized right here according to the recorded date. You can also see which questions are these the initial questions, the first few ones so that you have an idea of who submitted which. And if you want to see more of the other questions, all you got to do is select the question through this add button and you can see all the questions here and replace this question with whichever one you want to see creating a new column with the updated summary below which then corresponds to each individual response you can also filter your data so that let's say you only want to show certain responses that have certain choices for example let's say we only want to see those who purchased purchased a and we're going to select this is and then we can choose our options here. So we want to see who purchased the coffee. And we're going to name this the coffee filter. And if we were to apply this. As you can see, only those who purchased the pot coffee will now be appearing on this summary of the data. Other things you can also take note of is that you can select individual responses so that you may either edit, revert, or delete them. We'll go more into the specifics of this in a different video, but just note that you can start messing around with individual responses through this page as well. Lastly, we just want you guys to take note of, of the settings three dot button at the rightmost part of each response, where you can also mess around with each individual response to a greater degree, where as you can see here, you can even view, delete, retake the response, retake as new response, or even export as PDF. And that's all you really have to say about the data and analytics page, specifically the data table. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.